What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today we're doing the episode a little bit differently. Normally I like to build something beforehand and then showcase in the episode, but today I figured we would do an actual building episode, mainly because I have no idea if this is actually going to work or not. Of course, you've probably read the title of this video and really what I want to do is expand on this artillery cannon, but not really at all. So I showed this a little bit earlier and all it does is calculate trajectories based on the distance you provide it with and then of course when you press the button it fires. Now it'll only fire a projectile up to about 520 blocks away and uh, you'll see there oh it actually oh it didn't even explode oh there it goes okay that's great but it fires using spud guns and using cardboard so if we take cardboard and replace it really simply like that and we put the projectile down we can fire it again and it'll fire and all it's doing is detaching the four corners a split second before it detaches the plus pattern and that of course sends the projectile flying because of the momentum transfer but i thought you know the only way to get this projectile to go further is to well either a use a smaller projectile like that you can see it it goes extremely far or b we can take this and put more spud guns so actually if we expand this platform out even further they don't necessarily have to be right behind this it'll actually create that effect and give us more power which we could do but i thought what if we do the third option which is have a platform of spud guns fire a platform of spud guns which in turn fires a platform of spud guns that fires a platform of spud guns could we make the most powerful large canister explosive in the game that's what we're going to try and do today i have no idea if it's going to work but uh let's start it up and uh, see how it goes i feel like we're going to need to do a pyramid of projectiles because just doing one projectile is i don't think it's going to work like the first one is going to be five by five the next one would have to be bigger to launch the first one plus the you know explosive and then the next one would have to be bigger but i'm not exactly sure we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully we can get some projectiles just launching in stages across the whole map. So obviously the first thing we're going to do is build the first layer, which is going to be a 5x5, five five, which should be like that. Now we are going to use the mod pack just because there are the much smaller spud guns in the mod pack. We've got these single pipe spud gun pieces, which are super useful. And of course, we've got these small TNT blocks. So I think what we need to do is put these here so we can actually remove this platform after it's shot. Otherwise, when we shoot it, you'll have all these platforms that just fall down in midair that are completely useless, that, you know, have all these spud guns on them and just, you know, lag the game for no reason. Now, to fire it, we're just going to use a timer and a logic block. So, on the one side, when you press the timer, you can send just a single tick down the timer, and then we have a logic block in the middle, and then another timer on the other side. And so on this side, this will be our start timer. Well, actually, you know what? Let's paint this white just so we know. And this one will be our TNT detonation timer. So this will detonate, I don't know, we can do probably half a second after the cardboard has been shot. And we'll just link that all up. And then really simply, the tick will pass through here to there to there. When this timer goes up, it'll detonate the four corners. This one will detonate the rest. And then we should be able to just launch the projectile. All right, so we've got the small spud gun. And actually, instead of doing the four corners, let's just do the two sides. That way we'll get more power going to the actual projectile. So we'll just do that. We'll put our little uh, grip pieces, I guess we can call them, just to give our cardboard a mounting point. And it's very important that the cardboard is sort of free floating. So it's mounted to these two corners. But when these two spud guns get shot, the rest of the cardboard has no mount points. It's very important if you're setting up this method. And then, of course, uh, we'll just hook up all the other spud guns, so we'll just do this in sections. Perfect, just like that, and we'll do the rest. All right, so we've got everything wired up, I think. Uh, we should be able to just send a single tick button pulse down the whole thing to make sure, uh, except we do have... Hold on, we got all the explosives wired up, so let's just, uh, let's just save this as stage one. All right, so there we go, we've got stage one, and we will... Send a pulse into that, which goes for, let's give it a one second delay. And half a second afterwards. And this should launch the projectile and then explode if we've wired it all up correctly. So we should be able to put our projectile on the top. All right, now if we press fire, it should wait one second, fire the four corners, and then one tick later, fire the rest of the pattern, which launches the projectile up, and then blow up this platform half a second after all that. So here we go. Perfect. All right, so it fired the projectile, and then it exploded. And the projectile kind of went in a weird, okay, it went that way, it didn't even go straight up. Well, actually, this might not even be flat ground. All right, so that is stage one. Now, all we need to do 
is stack more stages. So let's just uh, delete this here and we'll grab another stage one. And let's see if we weld this one on top of this one. If this is powerful enough on its own to launch both of them. So this one will be one second, uh, which means this one will use one of its seconds. And then it'll have two seconds left. And that means it gets two seconds of flight time before it then fires its own system. So we'll see if this is even powerful enough. We might have to make the bottom one bigger, but let's try this initially. So here we go. Weld this up to there. All right. And then wire this up into both. And three, two, one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's so awesome. It doesn't fly straight. That is so cool. Okay, you know what we need? We need to use... I think the wings from the mod pack. I think if we put some wings on the side of this, that'll actually have it fly a little straighter. All right, so let's try this again. We'll weld another one up on top of that one again. So we'll do this. We'll take this one. We'll just kind of flip it over. And we'll do, uh, you know what? Let's do a, a three second on, on this one as well. All right, we definitely are going to need a bigger pyramid for this bottom projectile. I want to do three stages, I think, and have just, you know, different scales of pyramids. But uh, let's try this. Three, two, one. That's so cool. It's like a random turret. It fires in a random direction. Okay, so you know what? We just need more power on the bottom stage. So we've got stage one here. Uh, this is good stuff. So let's make stage two really quickly. And we'll do it the exact same way we did stage one. We'll make it one spud gun bigger around the whole outside. And then the next stage after that, we'll do two more stages. One that's one spud gun bigger. And then one that's two spud gun bigger. All right, so we've got our second stage of our rocket here. Now we're going to just take this side and flip it over now. Luckily, if we only do three stages, the third stage doesn't actually need to have any wings on it, and it can be mounted to a base with no explosives. That third stage will be the one that just sits on the ground on its own. Now, we should be able to get this. There we go. Perfect. So there we got two stages uh, completely set up. All right, here we go. And in three, two, one. That one just, that second one just kind of blew up. Here we go. That's two and a half seconds. I think two seconds, honestly, will be even better. But look at that. You can tell the difference already, how much higher that projectile is getting. And uh, really just getting a lot more hang time. And actually going pretty straight. That's, that's not bad. So let's try it again. Uh, two seconds on this one and one second on the initial one. And hopefully that gives us... Oh yeah, look at that. That's great. Perfect. All right, so let's just build a third stage and then we'll put the whole thing on an angle and try and fire these projectiles across the map. All right, so I decided not to just add a third stage, but a fourth stage as well. So presenting the most powerful projectile in all of Scrap Mechanics, spawn one of these and your friends will instantly be fearful of what you could possibly be doing. I mean, they have no idea. This is the biggest Christmas tree of power. And uh, it's even got, look at this, on the base, we've got a couple pistons here we can adjust so we can actually get it with that, uh, you know, that big tilt angle. There we go. So we can launch them across the map at a little bit of an angle. But for now, we're just going to launch it straight up to start. Then we'll spawn another one and see if we can launch it at an angle and see what happens. I honestly haven't even tested this. No idea what's going to happen, but uh, each timer you can see is set at a one second delay. So it should be one second and then the next and then the next and the next. And hopefully by the end of it, that projectile will be going really, really fast. So here we go. Three, two, one. I mean, the, the, the recoil from the first stage went back and blew up the base. This might be too quick, but we'll see what happens here. So two and a half seconds. Here we go. And three, two, one. That's actually awesome. That's actually the coolest thing. That fires a projectile so far. The final test, of course, is to compare this to the 500 range artillery and see, did we truly make a projectile that can launch a shell further than this artillery piece here? Now, this artillery piece obviously has a few advantages. Uh, quick reload, uh, accuracy, um, size... But, you know, putting all those details aside, I think this new projectile is going to be the future of weapons in Scrap Mechanic. I think there's no reason you would ever need to use any explosives anymore. In survival mode, I'm going to take all the extra time and effort just to be able to make a massive Christmas tree projectile that no one will notice. But here we go. 
And three, two, one. All right, so let's look at how far this actually goes here. So it fires, it fires. All right, so it hits, it for some reason doesn't explode, but it hits the top of that ridge basically, and then it rolls down and explodes somewhere down there. So all we need to do is see if this projectile can clear the top of this ridge. Now, the one thing I really like about this projectile, I mean, jokes aside with all the, you know, the speed and extra power that you get from it, I just think it's really cool how the multi-staging works. It's, I mean, it really makes me think of, you know, rockets and stuff and building a rocket. Of course, there's really no point to a rocket in Scrap Mechanic because there is, you know, a fixed skybox, but it is just, again, another cool sort of thing. So let's angle this here. Now, we don't have automatic aiming on this one, unfortunately, so let's just go maybe six. I don't know if this is even going to work. This might just destroy it. Uh, this looks pretty good. It looks kind of like a 45 degree angle-ish. All right, here we go. Oh, that definitely, that definitely goes farther. Look at that. Look at the range on that. It hit the mountain. That hit the mountain way over there. Let's try another one. We gotta, we gotta try another. This is the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever built in Scrap Mechanic. All right, let's try this again. And it's, oh, this one's not aimed as straight. Tilted a little bit more forward there. That looks pretty good. All right, here we go. Look at that last one. Look at the speed on that. Oh, I, I totally, I totally... Still made it up to that mountain, you can see. I totally slipped off that rock. Now, I know this video wasn't the normal format we do. Normally, again, like I said, we do show off creations most of the time. But I just really wanted to try this out. And I figured, you know, the best way to actually try this out was just to build it live in a video. And just see how it would honestly work. Because I did not think this would actually work the way it does. But this is absolutely awesome. I will, of course, upload it to the workshop. The multi-staging thing is just really, really cool. And it seems with the wings, it actually does end up getting pretty consistent. I mean, that's like right there on the mountain every time. Of course, we can't exactly reload this easily. You kind of have to delete it and create a whole new one. But of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Download it from the workshop if you have the game. It is, of course, a completely ridiculous, non-practical device. But I just wanted to try this style of video out, see what you guys think. And of course, we will be back tomorrow with more epic scrap mechanic creations. But... Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. That's awesome.